Hi, I'm John Leonetti. Welcome to Mars Hill, New England. I'd like to discuss with you today, in the brief time I have you, dispensationalism. What exactly is dispensationalism? Perhaps you've never heard the term. Maybe your church is dispensational and you don't even know it. Let's start off with a good working definition of what dispensationalism is. Briefly, dispensationalism can be defined as the eschatological, that's the end of the world or end of time theories of John Nelson Darby, later popularized by C.I. Schofield, where redemptive history is broken down into several divergent dispensations or time periods, each with their different means of salvation. So God dealt differently with the folks at different times, according to this view. Contrasted with that, What's been around for 1,800 years of church history is called covenant theology. The Bible teaches only two covenants. The covenant of works, where God said, if you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you'll die. That's before the fall, or prelapsarian, if you will. And then secondly, after the fall, the covenant of grace, the postlapsarian, after the fall. All people saved in every era of redemptive history are saved only by the covenant of grace. In Genesis 15, 6, we're told that Abraham believed the Lord and it was credited to him as righteousness. It was nothing he did. You cannot be saved by obeying the Mosaic law. So are there two chosen peoples of God? The heart of dispensational doctrine teaches us that there's two distinct peoples, one of whom must be raptured before God can continue his plan with the other. So the church must be taken out of the way so God can finish his plans with Israel. Does the illumination of scripture reveal that God has two categories of people? Or does scripture reveal only one chosen people who form one covenant community, beautifully symbolized by the olive tree in Romans chapter 11? So far from communicating that God is two distinct peoples, the scriptures from beginning to end reveal only one chosen people, purchased from every tribe, tongue, and language and nation. Paul said it in Ephesians 3, 6, that the mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body, and shares together in the promises of Christ Jesus. Thank you.